assalamu alaikum uh, let's try to create a sample application which talks about the product warranty you know what we are trying to do is uh, uh, create a, a product warranty uh, claim application okay uh, let's create a, a warranty claim case type okay I already have created my application so I don't have to like recreate it uh, but if you want to know uh, how it has to be done we can revisit the application creation phase okay and what I'll do next is I will try to create a case type so I am in the app studio so if you see there are dev studio app studio production studio from dev studio I want to show you how app studio also works so I am trying to use app studio uh, I am on the property casualty state from property casualty application I'm going back to app studio and then I'm going to use something called as uh, case types and then what I'm trying to do here is uh, add a case type and this particular uh, warranty claim application lifecycle will have three stages that is new claim uh, review and fulfillment let me call this uh, warranty claim okay uh, warranty claim case type okay and then if you see advanced you'll see some okay, standard okay perfect it looks good I'll just say next so here we are trying to achieve a warranty claim lifecycle where a claim can be raised and submitted it can be reviewed and also the fulfillment can be performed make sense okay this gave me my initial form where my uh, claim is getting created right let me call this stage instead of create i'm modifying the stage i'm clicking on the stage and i'm modifying it and i'm calling it new claim okay and then i'll add a more, one more stage where i'm going to review this claim okay and i'll call this <coughs> review and the last stage is pretty much fulfillment okay these are stages these are pretty much the stages through which your case life cycle is going to be driven through right next thing what i want to do is i want to add uh, steps into my um, uh, into my stages right what is this process this is uh, this process is something but you're submitting a request here right submit request process you're submitting a claim request here. so i'm calling it submit request and the steps it contains are uh, gather customer details okay i want to gather the customer details and also uh, i want to uh, collect the product details what product they wanted to raise a claim with okay uh, collect product details perfect so this is the first <laughs> step where we are collecting information so these two steps are is where we are collecting the information and the review I will say I will add a, a, I'll change the process name and I'll call it I'll say I'll add one more step to it and I'll say this is we are reviewing the products here so I'll say review products okay and the name of this process I will call it uh, reviewing claim okay review claim perfect right reviewing the products 
and also I want to create a case when this is happening so I'll call after the review I want to create a case so uh, step type should be create case let me look for create case step type create select right and I will say what I am trying to do here I am going to create product claim perfect uh, once this is done I also want the process to wait for a certain uh, process so what I will do I also add a wait step here if I go here uh, I can do wat wait search wait see I search for wait and then I'm adding the wait step perfect and so after this thing is done after the wait is done and we the review is over the next stage what I want to do is I want to send this warranty over the email so this will be send email let me look for send email send email okay perfect I found send email configure it this process I will be calling it as fulfillment and the process name will be warranty status okay and send email I will say send warranty confirmation perfect so we pretty much did we wanted to create a warranty claim case life cycle and it had to contain three stages three processes right and uh, six steps one two three four five six yeah six steps new claim stage uh, has one process right submit process right and uh, uh, containing multi-step form with two steps right it has one process called submit request with multi-step form right two forms are there okay and then uh, we do have the review stage has one process called review claim right containing three steps right and the fulfillment stage has one process containing one step the, uh, the process is warranty status and the step is sending email so just just trying to reiterate right now I just tried creating a new case life cycle where we are trying to uh, achieve warranty claim sort of a, uh, a case creation and how are we doing it we created three stages new claim review and fulfillment which has three processes one is new claim has submit request process review claim has review has review claim process and fulfillment has warranty process and under submit request we are doing two two steps one is gather customer gathering customer details and collecting customer information customer product details right and uh, on the review we are trying to do uh, review claim process we are trying to do three steps one is reviewing the products creating uh, the product claim and we are uh, adding a wait step we wanted to wait for the some processing to complete and in the fulfillment once the fulfillment is initiated the in the warranty status process what we are trying to do is sending confirmation over email so these are the different steps we have so let me just try to save this and see uh, perfect this got saved we have four warnings but this warranty claim process has got has been saved.
right so the next step will be creating fields for this particular uh, uh, processes right so in the creating fields is pretty easy when you're trying to do it from the app studio it's pretty easy right the next step in this process is now that we have created a skeleton of our case life cycle we will have to go back to uh, creating fields which are necessary for our uh, application so the first place where we can start is uh, where are we gathering the customer details if you see in the the new claim stage uh, we do have uh, customer details right gathering customer details step right in the first stage this is the first stage this is the second stage and this is the third stage in this first stage we do have a uh, customer details step where we are trying to uh, gather some customer details and what we can do you can configure view you can click on configure view on customer details step not on the process not on the stage on the step you have you get an option called you see this is this is a step and you get an option to configure view click on configure view and add few fields let's say we want to know if it is a new user yes or no like sort of a property so i would say uh, i'll add fields okay i'll say new user and this will be a boolean boolean property okay we're just tracking if it uh, yes or no sort of a button sort of a thing add and so submit and add another okay and i will say the next user next thing will be what email id do you want to register user with registered email id and then this will be of the type i think we have gone through the, these types already but just to remind you there is an email sort of a category under which these properties roll under right i'll use email for that and of course the user will have first name first name is a string so it will be single text property we also have uh, last name last name also goes with the same thing last name and then uh, we do have uh, uh, email id okay and this will be the email id way with which he has registered himself and okay the, the above will be the registered email id and this will be the other email id which we'll be using of course we will be needing the mobile number right mobile number and then the property type for this thing will be phone so this are this is how easily you can add pro uh, properties uh into uh on, onto the ui in pega using the configure view option the next thing you would want is we want the address right the address should be uh, embedded data so let's see i don't want this i'm looking for okay i want embedded data see there's an option called embedded data let's pick this i'll show you how exactly this is done i know you, uh oh and i'll choose submit and write and i do have customer details right uh, customer details is also something I want to a single record data object is needed so I would say uh, address we don't have it uh, we'll have to create a define a new data object let's do that in a while but let me add them later but for now I'll add these fields and I'll say submit okay and i'll say save this way we were able to add fields to one of the views which we wanted to make use of while uh, we are trying to create a case right so three stages three processes different steps associated with that warranty claim process and then we were able to configure view and we have to add more fields we'll be adding them uh, going further 
so what we did on the steps uh, on the first step we came here click configure view and